It's Monday. That means it's time for peaks and previews. And this Monday brings us to 986 Seeger Road, Mount Lebanon. Uh, four bedroom house. We've got some fine glass, some nice Corel, um, Christmas, um, stamp collection. Um, you know what? As I always say, enough with me talking. Let's go in and take a look. This is a three car garage um, with a Cracker Barrel rocking chair. Very nice shape. Toolboxes, hand tools, power tools, Stanley wood chisels. Um, hardware, um, lawn, garden, leaf blowers, um, gas, weed whackers, edgers, and tons and tons of books. This house is full of books. Tip, um, I guess just, just take this all in. And let's go over to the third garage while we're down here. In this garage, garage number three, um, some lawn garden tools, uh, lawn boy, lawn mower, wood boat, two um, step ladders, file cabinets, workbench, uh, stainless saw horses, and vintage chests. Game room off the three car garage. As you can see, more books, um, sheet music, DVDs, CDs, VHS, record albums. Record albums are big band and big band jazz. Um, kids easel, kids table and chairs. These three chairs, these bar chairs, high back cafe chairs, come from Chi Chi's restaurant. I uh, said so they're authentic Chi Chi wear. Um, and we're still working in here, setting this up, and it's just your typical game room. In the kitchen, it's a packed kitchen. Uh, Hutch and Ruther China, plain, but we still have Hutch and Ruther China, Corral, Syracuse China, but platters only, stemware, beverage glasses, um, corning with lids electric appliances, nice assortment of pots, pans, teapots. In the pantry room or the breakfast room, breakfast dock, um, nice little bistro table, tea set. Outside we have a patio set and a kid's sandbox with lid. Also, this house has an empty, heavy emphasis on cats, like cat figurines and animals. Let's go into the dining room. This is the dining room. Um, we have three sets of trains at this sale. We have two newer sets in box. We have vintage tin sets. Um, I don't believe there's an engine with that set. We also have a four box lot of HO and we have plastic uh, buildings, train buildings over here, nice little oak dinette set and the glass, cup and saucers, all bone, wall tapestry, nice clean sale, costume jewelry too. Okay, here we are in Mont Lebanon, and we're going to do a very informative pick of the peak today. Right here, we have in our glass and china department, we have a covered butter dish, which actually looks like it's old and what have you. But I'm going to teach you if you turn it over, it's actually a reproduction. RS, Ger RS Prussia, RS Germany were made in the 20s and probably up until the 60s or 70s. But it's very expensive. If this was a real piece of RS Prussia, it would be probably priced at about $95. But since it's reproduction, still beautiful, still decorative, we've priced it at 12. So just trying to teach you, not mislead you in any way, but always look at your marks, always check them out, and you can usually tell 
that is a reproduction by the feel of the porcelain. It's a little rougher. The antique porcelain is very smooth. Okay, just wanted to show you why this is a reproduction. If you look on the bottom, the mark, it's very, very similar to the original RS Prussia marking, but it's about three times larger than the other mark, and it's a little more cruder than the original mark. That's my pick of the peak for today. In the living room, I'm sort of cashier will be, we have the Thomas Bacconi um, Christmas ornaments. We have three plug and play Pac-Man, handheld Pac-Man games, um, upholstered sleigh bench, um, vintage chair, large seashell, seashell collection, torchair lamp, Yamaha electric keyboard, um, sofa, and we're still uh, in the setting up stages, pricing stages. This is also where uh, the stamp collection will be. Tip just panned in on the two handmade quilts that we have here in Mount Lebanon. Uh, in the foyer area um, is this double door lighted curio with the small glass um, collectibles in it. Um, we will enter this sale through the garage, not the front door. Off to the bedroom. In bedroom number one, you will find Chester drawers, king size bed, tons and tons of new wood linens. We have no old linens here, even the handmade quilts are newer. Um, three small chests, floor lamp, and just average everyday bedroom items. Bedroom number two, twin beds. Uh, <clears throat> also again, tons and tons of newer linens. Area rug, another country tapestry, Alcoa aluminum hangers, dresser, long dresser, no mirror, and just some miscellaneous bedroom. Bedroom number two. This is where, um, I guess you could call it the holiday room. The Christmas is in here. The fall decor is in here. The Halloween decorations are in here. And again, more books, um, brass, and copper wall art, uh, Tiffany style lamps, some of, of the cat figurines we're referring to, upholstered bench, and bookcase and hutch. Bedroom number four um, typically is the den in this house. As you can see, there are more books, DVDs, VHS, CDs, uh, framed photos, uh, Love seat, matching sofa, carousel. We're still trying to get together the PlayStation 3s. Um, I would say follow the ad on the website for more explicit detail. Also, we have an Atari game here that um, I didn't get a chance to elaborate on. Um, again, this is the dead. That's this version of Picks and Previews in my Lebanon today on 986 Sega Road. Sale is Saturday, April 19, 8 to 3. Uh, also, I hope you enjoy Gracie's little version of Pick of the Peak. And remember, never know. Free sale. Just. Preview. Come see me.